Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is extreme organization and decluttering of toys. We really try our hardest to not buy the kids so much toys, but between the grandparents, friends and family and all the holidays, they end up with so much toys more than what they need. They end up playing with the toys five to 10 minutes and then they ask for iPad but their toys is always scattered all over the house. Hopefully in today's video, you get some tips and idea how to keep your play area neat and organized. If you're still interested, please keep on watching. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. Let's take a look. So first I'm starting with my son's room. Uh, as you see, it's a pretty mess here. Uh, my daughter also have some toys in her room and we have a movie room slash play area upstairs which I keep most of their toys upstairs so when they make a mess it's out of sight out of mind it's not gonna stress me too much so now I'm just getting everything um, out of his room to take it upstairs to see what toys we need to keep what toys need to be upstairs and what need to be donated since I met you for the first time mm, You know we should work it out I'm just doing the same thing with the toys in my daughter room Taking everything upstairs to see what we need to organize upstairs And what we need to bring back down um, She has her favorites that she likes to play with And then you see my hallway Toys scatter on the stairs And this is the upstairs area again toys everywhere so I have all the toys from the kids room up here and I can just um, start decluttering I haven't done this for a year so it was definitely time and I have this closet to store all the toys but we should take it slow work things out so you don't let me go when I come real close I don't want to get hurt I'm not ready to give you my heart yet Before I'm too invested I should probably ask you Ask you all my questions Get to know you better But can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? Now that everything is out of the closet and all the toys are upstairs in one room um, it's very very overwhelming but this is the best way to start organizing your toys now I'm gonna just see which toys need to be donated which one are broken pieces so I have to trash and uh, which one I'm gonna keep for toy rotation I'm not sure if you guys know about the toy rotation but instead of having all the toys in the house at once which um, it's overwhelming for you as a parent and for your kids you can actually put them in a little smaller bin and hide them in the storage and you can rotate them and switch them around on a regular basis and the timing of it it really depends on you and your child when my daughter was younger I used to rotate her toys every six months and it was really um, great schedule for us but now that she's older she remember what kind of toys she has uh, so she asked for it so it's more challenging for me to do the toy rotation for my daughter but I still do it for my son and now I'm just really going through the toys and asking my daughter which toys she wants to donate and which toys she wants to keep If you've seen my previous videos, I never use label. I usually use clear bin so I can see what I have. But in this case, I definitely suggest you guys using label. That helps your partner. And if your kid can read, um, they can put their own toys in a correct bin. Are you? And I've worked good the way we are. So we 
are getting there guys. I have everything labeled and most of the toys in a specific bin. Um, I have still a lot of loose items that I will be taking care of and these are all the donations. And now I'm slowly putting things away where they need to be. So I got this over the door hanging shoe organizer. Um, I think it's a great solution, especially if you don't have much space to store the toys. Um, you can just hang it over your door and store whatever you need. I'm using it to store my daughter's dolls and Barbies. How you move. done with the closet I have everything labeled and organized so it's easy for everyone to find what they need and hopefully they can uh, clean up after they make a mess and put it back uh, where things belongs <laughs> I also stored some of their coloring books so if they want to color and I put some crayons as to for easy access. I had this tent from before finally I put it up for them and now everything is clean organized for movie nights and playtime up here. Hopefully they just uh, try to keep it as organized and neat, um, which I doubt it, but at least everything is labeled and everything have a specific bin. I'm going to Lena's room to organize all the toys that she wants to keep in her bedroom. I found these cute baskets from Target for five dollars. Um, I think they still have it so if you guys want to um, head there and see if you can find it and get it. I think it's definitely worth it. Get out before I'm too invested. I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? Now I'm all done. Uh, she has all her favorite toys in the room. Um, hopefully she can just keep it this neat and organized which I doubt it but uh, she actually been really um, helpful and she tries to clean after she plays. On the other side of her closet we also have more toys, uh, some of her LOL dolls and some of her Legos that she likes to play with. Take it slow, work things out so you don't let me go when I come real close. I don't want to get hurt. I'm not ready to give you my heart yet Before I'm too invested I should probably ask you Ask you all my questions Moving to Kava's room I'm just getting all the books out and wiping all the bins 
so I can just start organizing his book and his toys. I think it's always good to involve them uh, with the organizing and cleaning their toys. They were trying to help me. Uh, my son was making more mess, but my daughter was really trying to help me. Before I'm doing this. It's more difficult to clean and organize my son's room. He likes to scatter all his toys all over the house, but I try to keep his favorite toys in his room. Hopefully you guys got motivated to organize and declutter the toys in your house. And I hope to see you guys next week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye bye. I love you.